Hello everyone and welcome back to Floor's Corner. So in this video, I'm going to be showing y'all if my hair reverted back from straight back to curly. So it's been almost two weeks. I literally am on my 13th day since I've straightened my hair and it is time to wash this baby out. I'm telling y'all, my hair just decided to do its own thing. The weather has not been forgiving and my shower cap came off one time and I was like, you know what? <laughs> this hair really needs to get something done to it. So that is definitely why I am going to wash my hair and get my curls back because honestly, we not doing the straight hair for a bit. So I know some people might have left their hair straightened for a little bit longer, but honestly, my scalp was so itchy this time around. So I was just really dying and just dealing with a very dry, itchy scalp with my hair being straightened. So I just decided that it is time to wash this hair. So I just parted my hair in four sections and then I'm going to be using some water and my African Pride Pre Shampoo. So what I like to start off doing first is to saturate my hair with the water and then I'm going to use the pre-shampoo on top of that. Anytime that I normally like to revert my hair, I always use water and I use a conditioner, but in this case, I'm just gonna use my pre-shampoo because it's pretty much, I would say, act around the same like a conditioner. So I pretty much feel like I'm getting the same kind of results. And then I'm going to spritz it with a little bit more water just to get it more dampened so I can get this product in my hair. Now what I learned from straightening my hair in the past is that when I am reverting, I try not to look at my hair as soon as I started putting the water in the product because sometimes you already kind of make a misconception that your hair is damaged or it doesn't look right, your curls is not popping like they should. So I would say give it some time and definitely keep going over the section with like your fingers or your comb and you will slowly start to see that your curls are starting to come back. But just don't make an assumption right off the bat when you place the water and your conditioner into your hair because sometimes it may not be what it seems. Now I'm going to pin that section up and then I'm going to move on to the next section and repeat the same process. So I don't know if it was global warming or however, but where I live, once we're in like the March and April months, we are normally very warm. We don't get that much rain, but I don't know. It's like... As soon as it knew that I was going to straighten my hair, the weather honestly did not cooperate. Like to be real with y'all, like we were definitely just waking up. It was cloudy days, super windy, damp. I'm like, you know what? This daggone hair is just not gonna stand against this, this weather. Like honestly, I just could not believe it. I'm just so kind of like upset because I really didn't get to feel that I did so much with my straight hair because the weather was just not permitting at all. And I mean, it's not one of those where you look at the weather app and you kind of knew what was coming on. No, it was days that it changed. It was just supposed to be sunny and then it was cloudy instead. I mean, yeah, it was just a whole whirlwind, y'all. And that's why I'm saying my hair just did not get to shine bright like she should have. But that's okay. It still was definitely a good experience to see my hair out of her curly element, which was fine. It's okay. That's the good part about having natural hair is that you can just do so many different styles and looks and things and just feel great about yourself. So now we are all done. And here is my hair in all four sections. And here I'm going to show you guys what it looks like after I had put the water and the pre-shampoo into my hair. Still here, I don't want to say I can truly see any type of damage or anything like that. So I'm just kind of just showing y'all what it looks like before I wash it. But I do honestly feel that after I finish washing, deep conditioning and conditioning my hair that I can really tell. So please stay tuned to the end of the video so you can definitely see my results. So I'm going to be using my VO5 Kiwi Clarifying Shampoo and Conditioner. And for my deep conditioner, I'm going to be using my African Pride Aloe Vera Deep Conditioning Treatment. Here I have my hair with the shampoo in it and you can see what my hair looks like. 
I can definitely see that my curls have reverted back and I'm super excited about that. It is really looking very nice. Because of that dry itchy scalp that I had, I definitely clarified my hair twice with the shampoo. Here I have the aloe vera treatment in my hair and I am combing it through to make sure that my hair is all detangled. My scalp definitely felt so much better. That dry itchy scalp was just terrible. I really tried not to put so much product in my hair because you wanted your hair to be nice and flowy when it's straightened and you didn't want to put any type of products that could weigh it down because we you would take away that bounce and the volume and things. So I really just let my hair just stay that way. So now we are all done. All I did was twist my hair into two big twists. And now we are going to see the final results. So here we go, y'all. Just stay tuned. Y'all, I did suffer heat damage, y'all. Not a lot, but I'm telling you. Y'all already knew I had a looser texture around the perimeters and the edges around my hair. So that little piece I just grabbed was the actual part that I know is my looser texture. But these other little hairs above it was not. And I was so like, what the heck? So on that side, it was just in the back, just a little bit above my nape. And then we're going to see on the other side of my hair to see what's going on. Because I'm like, nah, -uh, we can't do this. So I suffered the same on this side. I got heat damage right there on my left side. Oh my gosh, y'all. I mean, it's okay. Honestly, it happens to us. It happens all the time. And it is something that I'm just going to work better on with my hair. I know exactly what happened. And I know exactly why those two parts in particular has gotten heat damage. That was when I was trying to curl my hair. And I went over it like two times. And yeah, it happened. But I'm still happy with my results. My hair still came back shining and everything. Minor setback for a greater comeback. So we're going to make this baby healthy again. And I thank you all for tuning in. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.